South American team, we have a European team in the, in the second round, but we don't have Africans. Are you surprised at the level of support from the rest of Africa or were you expecting that? Oh, I was expecting that the whole continent was going to support Ghana, I mean, especially that the South Africans have failed on going into the second round. They need to find you know, some sort of motivation and Ghana is one of the motivation. Ghana play yellow also, <laughs> a bit of yellow in the, in the Ghana flag and South Africa are behind in the whole continent, one billion people behind Ghana, it's something huge. Are you living Ghana yourself now? What's the move like back in Ghana? Well, it's great. I wanted to come back. I'm doing my own thing. I work for charities and I'm doing some small business. But what is important is that uh, uh, my kids uh, understand and, and uh, you know they are, they are going to have the double culture like me. And uh, it's good to be there. I've been in Italy. I've been in England. I've been in the Emirates. Uh, why not Africa? It's great. Now you've won the World Cup. Obviously, what I want to know is what happens to that trophy once it goes into the dressing room after the lap of honour. <laughs> we kiss, kiss, and kiss. Put champagne on it. Uh, <laughs> put in the bag. I mean, it's the the trophy suffer. It really suffer. In fact, uh, you need uh, to create an association to uh, save the trophy when <laughs> because really, really, we. I mean, you have achieved the thing. You have it on hand. You have plenty of images. Maradona who wanted to kiss it also, and Franz Beckenbauer. All the I mean, it's, it's something great, great emotion. You you feel complete when when you have it on hand. Is it a fight in the changing room over who holds it the most and things like that as you go to the captain? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. The captain have the privilege to to, to you know to hold it and to to show it to the crowd. But afterwards, there's everybody the same level. We all enjoy it. Who's starred in this World Cup for you? Who stood out with your players? No, I like Van Persie, I mean Messi, Higuain, uh, we like the Spanish, they have wake up a little bit. Villa have done very really well, uh, Forlan have done very well also for his uh, Suazo also. I mean, most of the offensive players, I like Piquet also, that is doing well for for Spain. But uh, no, it's, now it's now it's starting the World Cup really, the second round of starting. Uh, round of 16 is gone, uh, I mean it's gone. Uh, Quarter final is in now, uh, and it's, it's great, 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 great. I hope we're going to see a bit more offensive side, less, you know, tactic 4 5 1. We want more, more two players at front, three players at front, like the Argentinian, for us to be entertained. We need to be entertained. We forget sometimes that football is, has to be a show. It's not especially about only victory, winning, only through the win you get the, the pleasure. No, also, I mean, playing well having some skills, this is important. And finally, who do you think will win this World Cup? Argentina, like I said, against the Dutch, the Netherlands, I believe that they have, these two teams have a huge potential, even if it's Brazil, have a good defense, and Kaká, Robinho can wake up a little bit. I believe that it's, it's these two teams that will, will get to the final. Well, thank you for speaking to us, and good luck to Ghana. Thank you. 